This video is going to quickly show you how to configure your WAN settings to connect to BT Fiber Broadband. Um, it's in response to a comment that a viewer left to a previous video that I did, which covered PFSense. From Leonard's Hand 7845, in which I was asked a question. Hi Sam, great video. Will you be doing an OpenSense connection to BT Business Hub in the future? I followed your PF Sense, but it did not work in OpenSense. So I'm going to respond directly to this. Uh, Leonard's Hand 7845, this video's for you. On the left hand side, we have our current PF Sense version working, uh, and we have our OpenSense router on the right. So I'm going to go into Interfaces, Assignments, and 1. And on here, I'm going to go to Interfaces, and 1. So Enable Interface is the same. Um, and block Private Networks. Change this to PBPoE. Uh, MTU, where's that? So MCU, just going to copy these values to make sure they're the same as the previous video. Uh, got PPPoE configuration. So I'm just going to copy this stuff. BT business hub at business.btclick.com. I think I put the password as BT if I remember right. Copy the details so they're the same. Down demand. Idle timeout is zero. I think we've got to put something in on here. Go ahead and save that. Feed idle timeout is valid. Service name contains valid characters. Okay. Um, okay, so it's at 3600. Apply the changes. The interface enabled, let me just double check everything is the same. So, PPPoE. So, it seems to be identical. So, we see if that works. So, now we'll shut this down and go try it. So, I'm at home, all we've done here is unplug the PFSense router. Um, I've plugged our OpenSense router directly into the um, NTE. So, basically what we're going to do at this point is uh, check on the laptop to see if it um, works okay. If it doesn't, I've got some little helpers here that can give me a hand. So, we're going to now um, we've got the web interface up so we can should be able to go to log in. So we're doing a speed test here and as you can see we're getting like 1.3 gig out of it so there's no settings changed there, it's working really well. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to go into one interface. And I'm just going to remove the uh, MTU and MSS settings and then we'll try it again. And that's working fine as well.
So all I did there was um, copy the settings from that we used on the previous PFSense video and just put them into the OpenSense router and it worked quite fine. Um, the only thing I'd check to make sure is that you're using the right username. If you're connecting using business broadband as I was, it's BT uh, Business Hub. If you're using home broadband, it's going to be BT Home Hub when you're connecting. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it answers your questions and you managed to get OpenSense running with it. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you.